Hi everybody! We're picking up where we left off last week as we're going through to embellish pages in this heritage recipe book for my daughter. Yeah, that, that time last time went very quickly. So I'm going to continue on and then we'll, we'll um, put some of these photo sleeves in. What I wanted to say about those photo sleeves was that I thought I was going to do a waterfall and have like cascading three at a time, but they are wider than I was thinking. I guess I should have measured that, but I didn't. And um, so I can only do two at a time to fit on the page so they'll overlap, but they'll, they'll go sideways this way, which might be better. I don't know. So uh, that's what we're going to do. And also because I'd already prepped all the cards that I wanted to put in them, I didn't want to trim them down, which is also a solution. If you haven't already made your cards, you can just trim them down before you put them on the page. And then I could have trimmed them down to go three at a time. This is not straight. I want it to glue straight. Okay, so this Idaho potato here, we're in the vegetable section. It's playing cards. If you're in the PNW, you can, well, at least here, you can find them at Fred Meyer. Although you might have ones that are more related to your own state. <laughs> if you're not in Idaho, I don't know. I don't know what you do. Okay, there's that one. Oops. I think this book is going to get full fast, but like I said, everywhere there's blank space, she can write notes and write recipes. So I tried to leave a lot of writing space, and she may need to just go through and take out some more of these pages. That won't that won't hurt me at all. It'll be fine. Let's see. I had I had this playing card too, which is berries. So maybe if this was vegetables, was there a fruit? I like this one. I like this one. I like this. I liked this. So we got three more to put in. I'm not sure about those two. And then I have to figure out figure out where I want to put these guys that fold open. But we'll do the waterfalls first. And then Okay, that's salads and salad dressings, and we got that. I got this nice lady. For a second, I had a heart attack, and I thought I'd put her on the wrong section, and I was about to, about to feel real sad, and then I realized, no, she was in the right section. Okay, this one is pastries and pies, and I really thought this one would fit there very nicely. It does, doesn't it? Otherwise, it'd be a great, great spot for the berries. So did everybody have a good week? Did you do anything interesting? Are you still working on your books? Anyway, if you have any comments or suggestions or you're working on one, definitely tell me about it down below because I love, love to hear what everybody's working on, love to see your projects. And I do have that Facebook page, so maybe we can, I don't know if you all can upload pictures to it or not, if, if, unless I maybe do something special on it. So if anyone knows, tell me. Uh-oh, that's not sticking there, but let's, let's put you down first. This isn't exactly in the right style, but it is cute, so it made it into the book. There we go. And 
make sure that it goes right across up to the top. It doesn't glue my pocket shut. It's always a bummer when your pockets get glued shut. This keeps trying to pop up. I may have to go back in there with some more glue. I'll know after it dries. But I'm not going to do it right now. Okay, so there's that. See, pages like this, I could be putting double uh, recipe cards on there. So I'm just giving her lots of places to write. Okay, who did I have? I had this lady. I really want her to go in. I just don't know where to put her. She's got all of her brand new shiny pots and pans. Wait, did you? Yeah, you had a waterfall. No. You have a paper clip because it needs to clip shut. Okay. This one have that one has waterfall. A pinch of patience, a dash of kindness. Looks kind of cute on there. I was actually thinking maybe it could go. Oh, maybe she should go there. The red has more pop. I was thinking it could go on the back of that one that I put the belly band on last time where I wanted something to decorate it up. <laughs> Which now I can't find. <laughs> Great. That turned out cute. All right, where, where are you, belly band? Hmm. Let's look from the top. See what we find. There it is. Sorry for the jiggles. Oh, it's too big. Well, fooey. <clears throat> you can put a tag there though, because it's got the same, it's from the same paper line, so it has the same, same flowers on it. Let's do that. And if it was me, I might distress along the edges to cover that white edge, but it's not. She doesn't really like distressing, so that's fine. To each their own, right? Oops, wrong thing. Punch this out. I wanna get, there we go, that's better. I could tie something cute in there, like this random ribbon Ribbon I have sitting here. It's really long, isn't it? Just cut it in half. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> this is just a little scrap, but that would finish that off, I think. Now that I already punched the corners. Of course, we gotta do dad it up, make it all pretty. All pretty. Or purdy, as my dad used to say. Make it all purdy. He was from Oklahoma, so a little bit of that Southern always stuck with him. Not much though, not as much as you'd think. And he never, he didn't have a Southern accent, which I always found interesting because my aunts and uncles and cousins all did. But I don't know if he lost his accent in the military, if that just ended up, ooh. No, I like the rounded corners. I was gonna say I could leave it this way, but I like the cute scallop. What can I say? Okay, and I'm sorry if I'm, if my arms are going across the camera like that. Let's put this ribbon in. Let's get this down quickly, quickly. 35 minutes goes so fast. But when it comes to the editing and uploading, it's actually, it's very enjoyable. <laughs> you think? Now that I did all that, what do you think? Does that actually work? Does it look good? No. We'll save you, we'll put you somewhere. Okay, so I was on my way to find the saucy lady. 
I think maybe in, oh, that was that one for casseroles. Not canning. Canning already had one, didn't it? Ooh, I have to cover that up because she did not like this watermark. Remember that? She just thought that was weird. So I'm thinking of that, although I could. She's not canning though. She's definitely baking and doing dinner stuff. So let me get out the super. I'm gonna put this along there and try to cover it up a little bit. Hopefully she won't notice. <laughs> she probably will. She's got an eagle eye. We used to call her eagle eye when she was little because she could notice all kinds of things. Things you were not wanting her to notice necessarily. She was very good, at, very good at seeing stuff and noticing it right off the bat. So her, her little eagle eye may notice that that is still there. I could put a label over this or, uh, yep, mom's doing a patch job. Oh, I like this one though. Who, what, where, when. I wanted to glue that on a page. This is probably why it's taking so long for me. From the kitchen, we are talking about canning. So, I'm trying to see if any of these labels look more like canning. Uh, no. I think one of mine did. One of my old ones. No. <laughs> no and no. But I like the colors on this, so let's do that. Now she can put her own label or whatever on there. Uh-oh. One of those pieces I punched off got stuck under her. There we go. There, that's cute, isn't it? I'm making a bigger mess now that I'm trying to work fast than if I was just doing things. It only goes to show you I'm not a fast crafter. Slow and tidy, I guess. I don't know. There we go. There, that's cute. Can hardly see that watermark at all. Perfect. Okay, put that back in the book. What were my other choices? Appetizers? Could she be making an appetizer? <laughs> eh, not really, but it still looks cute there and it brings out the yellow of her dress. I mean, she's got some stuff chopped up here. All right, you're making appetizers, ma'am. That's what you're doing. You have pronounced it to be so. Plus that just helps that pocket be a little bit deeper. And again, I could make it a tuck spot and stick another tag back there, like I was mentioning last time, last video. But I'm not going to. Got a lot of glue on the end of my bottle there. Cute. Love all of her beautiful, shiny cookware. So when I was doing my vintage shop, trying to sell off things that had been handed down to us from family. We inherited a whole house full of stuff and we really didn't need to keep it all, but I learned a lot about all these dishes. These, uh, you know, whether it was Revere Ware or some of the other ones that were just shiny aluminum. And they're very hot right now still. People love them. This might need a sentiment down there, so we'll see. I wonder if Tess Kitchen endorsed would work. Okay, I'm gonna put that back in the binder. You can't see me, because I'm, I'm over here to the left. Now, let's get going 
on these waterfalls. And all my recipe cards are trying to trying to get in the middle of stuff. So let's see where we are. Waterfall. And the other thing I needed to verify, oh, this is not a waterfall, that's a belly band. And that's candy. I think, hold on, rabbit trails. That's how I work, folks. Either this lady or this one could go there very nicely. But that's not what I wanna do. We wanna work on these waterfalls. And there's that pocket. So we'll start with this one. And then what I wanted to verify is which recipes I have to go in there because it's gonna drive a few things like where we actually put the waterfalls. Okay, so everybody with a tab does not need to be here right now. They're all excused. And then everybody with Typewriting does not need to be here right now. Let's get those out of the stack. These are the general ones. You're excused. Oh. Okay, oh, typewriting. Typewriting. have a spot for that one. I'll hold him out because I know exactly where I want him to go. Okay, you all are excused. Okay, so what we have now are the ones that go in these waterfalls. So they're blank, right? So I guess it doesn't really matter. That one looks like, those two look like vegetables, obviously. Tomatoes, can you see what I'm doing? These two look like vegetables. We've got tomatoes and carrots. Carrots in a jar. Personally, I don't do my carrots that way, but okay. Life is lovely. So let's see who would look nice in there. On this back side. Okay, that's pretty busy. So... Probably nobody because it's so bright. We are in desserts. All right, well, let's do home memories. And that guy might have to be, because everybody else is. Oh, this one might work. Yeah, let's do him. Okay, so those two are going to go in this waterfall, and I have to set my book aside. So as I was mentioning last time, first of all, let's get you glued on there. If I don't glue this on first, after I glue these, this will be too lumpy. And we don't want lumpy. So I haven't told you about our remodel lately, but where we're standing right now as I'm, as I'm filming, our backsplash tile finally came in, hooray. And uh, we're waiting on the installers now to have availability in their schedule. And then we discovered a problem with our countertops, our quartz countertops. They have these little spots in them. I hope I haven't told you this already. I don't think I have. I try not to talk about it too much because I don't want to bore you all to death. And I'm still filming the process, but since nothing's happened for four weeks, I'm going to have to lump weeks 9, 10, 11, and 12 together. <laughs> Just do one, because not much happened. Anyway, so we found a problem in our countertops, and the problem was that they, uh, wait a minute, got to go this way, that's where the rings are. They have these little spots in them that look like something got dropped or spilled or Anyway, they are not smooth all the way across. So after uh, about a two or three week process and discussions back and forth, it has been determined that they're gonna have to, they called in a guy called the stone surgeon and he came and looked at things 
Now he can fix part of it, but then our actual island, which is where it's most noticeable anyway, the island will have to get replaced. But since I have a friend coming in the middle of October to visit, um, I was like, guys, we gotta get this figured out because I have company coming middle of October. I mean, we made plans in May. This was not gonna be an issue because we were supposed to be done by the end of August. <laughs> so, <sighs> they're gonna be able to do the outside counters and the two bathrooms where it's less less of a problem and he can do some kind of magic and then we won't replace the island until after she has come and gone so that's that's what we have happening it's the news from lake wobegon see i want it to come out a bit so it's not bumped up against these rings too much and let's hope that art glitter glue will hold this plastic to this paper i think it will it's pretty Pretty tough stuff. And I like that I can line up these two circles here. That's a little close to the top edge, but we're gonna go with it and then next time on the next one, scoot this one down a bit. Oh, you can't see. Scoot this down a little bit more. And then as long as I'm lining these up right here, I think that looks nice. I could always put something pretty along here. So we'll see, but it, it helps to be able to position it all onto the page. It's a nice way to tell. And then, once this is stuck in place, we will, I gotta get where I can see folks, sorry. Let's do it this way. And then I will uh, put the recipes in there, recipe cards. So this guy can go underneath. I'm going to take these out. I left them in because it's easier to see what I'm gluing if they stay in. But if I don't take them out, she can't tell that there's a spot on the back side. And then, oh, you're popping up. Don't pop up. I guess, wait till your glue is dry to get everything out. Oh, here, come out this side. Thank you. Thanks for that. Okay, so this one, I'm gonna add an extra recipe card back there. That gives her the option to keep writing on one and then they can still stay together. And where's my other? to double check that my corners match. Okay. Mm. I can get it in there. My fingers are dry and a little bit gluey, so. Oh. You can slide in. Okay, so I'll have to do some explaining to her about what I wanted her to do with all this stuff. Kind of wanted to just send it to her in the mail as a surprise because we're not sure that we are going to get together for a while because they're in Portland, Oregon area and I'm in southeast, southwest Idaho. And in the wintertime, this is not the right way. In the winter time, we have to cross this mountain range called the Blues. And I used to go to school in Portland, so I have been across the Blues many times, and it's hairy. Hairy, hairy. Bad windstorms, bad snowstorms, slick ice. Thanksgiving through February. I don't really want to cross the Blues, and I don't really want them crossing the Blues to come to see me in their little car with bad tires. <laughs> so... Um, Last year they didn't make it for Christmas or Thanksgiving and part of that was because of COVID and part of it's just travel. So I don't know what we're going to do because um, 
If I go over there, I also have to do something with my dog and she's a pain in the neck. This is not staying down. Oh, I don't wanna to have to sew it because if I had to sew it, that means I shouldn't have done this pocket yet. But sewing might be the only way. Nah, come on. I could use double-sided tape, maybe. But we're gonna try a little more art glitter glue first and hope that that does the trick. It stop fiddling with it while it's wet. So maybe I'll have to put in my recipe cards before I glue them down. Anyhow, I don't wanna cross the blues. I don't want them crossing the blues to see me when the weather's so nasty, cause it's, it gets so bad. So, I don't know. We may just have to mail it to her and then FaceTime for the reveal. Say, don't open until you FaceTimed your mother. That might be what we do. Okay, let's go find another one. I see him peeking out. Where are you? Come here. There we go. This is the meat section. Now this one needs something on the front as well. What do you need, buddy? What do you need? Hmm. Fantastic question. Looks a little too girly for cows. Although cows are cute. Not quite what I had in mind. Those are too pale. There's this one. Not sold on it. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on, we got that one. Here, there we go. That's what we wanted. Dinner choices, take it or leave it. Here we go. And then there was a little one that said recipes on it. Where did I put it? Oh, I thought I had it stuck in there. It's in the embellishments. There we go. I'm, I was leaning over there to get my stuff. I was gonna just tuck these into pockets, but this or this could go under there. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, let's do that. Super cute. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's do it. Yeah, I was. this was um, not embellishments, but ephemera I was going to use. Now, and these I already punched with the cute, cute edge. With the cute little corners. Where are we at? We have like what, 11 minutes or so, give or take. If I was really gonna get creative, I would do this and this, but I don't know that she would know to write on that, so we're gonna leave it like this. But you know, if you are a junk journaler, all the flips and flaps and folds and tucks and the interactive quality of these books is what makes them so fun. Okay, there we go. I mean, someday we might get grandkids and they can just have fun playing with the things that grandma made. Mm, let's see. Do I want a tab there? I think I do. But it's going to be... She didn't really like this paper, but I like how it matches. <laughs> I had these little leftovers, but I think this one is going to be too big of a pattern. I'm going to punch it with my tab punch as soon as I decide what I'm doing. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so I have this little guy here. And this thing works upside down, so you want to put the fold up at the top. But if they had turned it the other way, it would have been so much easier. I find it's very limiting as to what, how I can get my papers in and out. Okay, I want a little bit of that red to be on there. 
You see what I'm doing? I'm trying to stay in frame. There we go. Cute. Gotta know exactly where you're putting it with this glue. It grabs it so fast. There we go, that looks centered. There, now we know to lift. Oh my goodness gracious, so cute. Okay, good, that adds a little fun thing to that one. A fun element. And then on the back side, who's gonna go back here? Cause you know, so easy to have lots of lots of main dish and meat recipes. Okay, so who looks like meat? You look like dairy. You have a little red. You go. That might be good. Maybe that one. He's cute, but I'm kind of holding out for the vegetable page for this. So now we have learned that we should definitely put these in first. Okay, what color do you have? You're already a double. And this one didn't get punched, so we'll leave his friend unpunched. that she's got two and a half cards to write on should we slide a second one in there just another one just to be safe just in case just in case and then if she doesn't use it there she can use it elsewhere let's see I had you on this end I think I'm gonna put this one down at the bottom though so that paper clip can come in and out easily So let's, let's do try this with some double-sided tape and see if it works better. I'm gonna pause everything for a sec. Okay, I'm back. I've got my double-sided tape here. I'm using the half inch and this is that Su Kuang, Su Kuang. We, had, we have friends and their last name is Wong, but it's W-A-N-G and he said, because he is Chinese, <laughs> that uh, Wang, it looks like Wang, but Wang Wong, it was the same last name, but over the centuries it got it got changed and divided up. But you pronounce them both Wong, so. I'm erring on the side of Wong. Now, I wanted to add or say also, this idea of doing these waterfall photo sleeves is not my idea. It was Gail Augustinelli's way back. If I can find the video, I will link it below for you. And um, I saw her do this on a, I think it was a cooking or maybe it was a sewing journal. Like back when I first started watching her channel, like 2018, I think. So it was a good idea and I liked it. I've kind of kept it in the back of my mind ever since. But it just, it gives you just a little bit more space to add, you know, to add things in your, in your book if you want. So, let's see, I'm doing this in sections because I'm trying to skip those holes. Otherwise the sticky stuff will show through and it will it'll create a problem. And since I haven't decided if I want, what I want to run across the top of that yet, I don't want to leave it just sticky. Now what I could do is run some rickrack or fabric strips across there. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Time will tell. We will see what we come up with. Okay, you two. I'm going to finish this one and then um, we'll be done for the day.
and we will wrap up with our quote. Hopefully this video hasn't gone too long. I don't think so. We're good. Okay, so you need to line up right there. So this is what I was talking about, this kind of tape here. If you want the ability to kind of position it a little bit or have a little play and wiggle room with it. Uh-oh, well that just peeled right off there. <laughs> that wasn't the goal. Come on, get on there. I have to, have to burnish it with my bone folder. Okay. No, please, okay, the tape doesn't want to stay. Hmm. You're ruining my illustration by not cooperating. Okay, so as I was saying, if you want to have a little wiggle room with that tape, because it does grab instantly, and you want to play with it just a bit, make sure you get it where you want it, just go over it with the glue stick. And it is amazing how that one little trick will save a whole lot of headache. Okay, so are you in the right spot now? Okay. And are you straight? Hold on, I gotta look at this. Yep. Then you just push it down and um, then the two glues will work together and it will stay in place. So I learned that way back when I was watching Dawn's Inspirations. She, was, she does mini albums. She lives in Manchester. And if you're having trouble falling asleep, put her on. And she sounds like somebody reading Beatrix Potter. And it's all good. <laughs> she has a very calming voice and it just sounds very lovely. Did I put that on the wrong side? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. Yes, I did. Okay, luckily, easy fix. Easy fix, easy fix. And wasn't I going to put this one down at the bottom? Yes, I was. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. See? That's why we can't talk and craft at the same time. Okay. There we go. That's that. Okay. Quickly putting these where they actually wanted to be, where I wanted them to be. Life is lovely, especially when you get your glue on the right side of the paper. I feel like we could make a life quote out of that. Don't let your glue get on the wrong side of the paper. I don't know. We'll come up with, we'll keep working on it. say it's already sticking to the paper better than the glue did. If that other one pops up, I'll go back in with tape. So I will finish out the rest of these with tape and then probably off camera I will do my whole reinforcers on the pages and my stamping and then come back if there's still something to do. I will do a third video of embellishing and if there's not then we'll be back for the flip, so, flip through. So... It remains to be seen. Oh, that is so cute. I like that. I like how that turned out. It's super cute. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Oop. Okay, so we might want these to be anchored somehow. We'll have to see. Got things falling. And I don't think I have time for one more, but... This one I just put in here randomly, just because you always have lots of meat recipes. So, you know, main dishes and meats. It's a category that gets filled up quickly. So maybe we'll just slide this right here. Does that match? Not very. But the other two were vegetables, so we're gonna go with it. And it's a two-pager. It's a two-page. Recipe card, to, you know, with the one that folds down. There we go. Now we can be done. I am pronouncing us done for the moment. I will clear all this away, and then we will come back with our closing statement. 
In closing today, I wanted to share a verse that my friend Lori always signs her emails with. It really spoke to me, and so I wanted to share it with you. Obviously, I don't know each person's situation and what they're dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, but I just wanted you to be encouraged and comforted by these words from Jesus. It comes from John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. So as you go through your week, carry these words with you from Jesus. And remember that he is the author and the finisher, the concluder of peace. True peace can only be found in him. So with that, dear friends, I'm going to close until next time. And until next time, I want you to be inspired and do something creative today. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.